All right, let's get straight to it then. Markets, that is Ashwini Gujral of AshwiniGujral.com is joining in. Rahul Shah of Motila Roswal Securities is also with us. Gentlemen, thanks very much. Good afternoon. Ashwini, first to you. Uh, what do you make of the trade so far? See, general uh, choppiness, but uh, for me, the key event today is that both Nifty and Bank Nifty have failed at uh, the 20-day moving average. And this market is now getting controlled by the monthly and the weekly chart. So at the higher time frame, we are unable to make you uh, to have great follow through, which means the last month's uh, bar was negative. This month also, there has been no follow through beyond 9,000. So uh, I would think that at some point, because of certain triggers, maybe 8,700 will get taken out, not today, not tomorrow, but uh, it's probably heading towards that. As far as today is concerned, maybe second half we could see a bit of upside. So India's cement is a buy with a stop of 154, target of uh, 168. REC is a buy with a stop of 129, target of 143. And Bharat Forge is a buy with a stop of 925, target of 960. This is significant because it was down uh, to 2.5% and now suddenly has reversed and made a, a large up move. Generally, this is a strong buying signal when a stock drops on news and reverses sharply. Okay, Ashwini, thanks very much for that. So those are the technical picks coming in. But we have Rahul Shah joining in with his uh, picks as well of Motilal Oswal Securities. Rahul, afternoon, uh, what would you be reckon recommending for the second half of trade today? Uh, my sense is that I think uh, NBFC plays have been uh, in a focus for quite some time and in last two, four, two to three series we've seen continuously movement in most of the NBFC series. In that I feel I think Divan Housing Finance uh, which hit a low of 270 in last week and now again recovered almost fully. So I feel again uh, that stock can still go further ahead and go to 315 or so. So I, I would buy Divan Housing Finance with a stop loss of 292 and target of 315. Second is in space from uh, I think BEL. I think we've seen this counter uh, sharply recovered from the lower levels and again uh, showing some sign of uh, strength in the stock. So I feel uh, the longs created in the stock can inch the stock to 1330 or so. So I would buy with a stop loss of 1250 and target of 1330. Uh, then KPIT is a buy. I think uh, we've seen uh, in a mid-cap software, uh, selectively we've seen a support at lower levels. So KPIT hit a low of 124 last week. From there again it's taken a support and stock is inching upwards. So I feel uh, uh, with the, the risk to reward is quite favorable in KPIT. I would buy KPIT with a stop loss of 130 and target of 145. Okay, Rahul, thanks very much for that. So those are the picks coming in um, on the FNO space. But we do have some details with regards to the Spectrum auction.